Hello there guys and welcome to today's Minecraft video tutorial. So in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a trap that works for players and mobs but personally I'd recommend using it mainly on players because what, what happens here is it traps them in a room full of obsidian and blocks off the top so that they can't get out and if it's, if it's with players they get more worried and they start to drown and they can't break through the blocks even if they have a diamond pickaxe they still won't get through in time and yeah so that's everything there is to say about this tutorial and I'm going to show you it in action what I've done here is I've replaced what would normally be a stone pressure plate and put a wooden one in so I can show you guys it working with an item. So I'm going to throw in the item and it seals off and yep, there you go, the obsidian goes on top really quickly, works really fast, um, no way of a player getting out and they start to drown from the water. So let me just get that back and get rid of that. So yeah, that's everything there is for demonstrating it. Now I can show, go over here and show you guys how to make it. So. Actually, I didn't mention before, but these two glass ones at the front, they would normally be obsidian as well, but I've replaced them with glass so you guys can see what's happening. So, what I'm going to do is, on this bottom one, below the pressure plate, what I'm going to do is, on the right, facing forwards, I'm going to put a repeater facing outwards, and I'm going to set it to four, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a torch on the opposite side of that block, and another one on top there. Now I'm going to get some redstone. Ooh, don't have any redstone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on top of that block there and on that block there. Then I'm going to grab a dispenser and put it on that block facing inwards. Okay, so that's everything there is for the lava. That's the lava all set up. And now I'm going to show you guys how to set up the water bit. So this one's probably even more simple. What you do is you place a torch on the outer side of that block and on the outer side of that block and on the outer side of that block. So the torches kind of go up in a diagonal pattern. Now what you want to do is you want to grab a sticky piston and you want to put it on top of that torch facing inwards so that... There's a kind of gap there, and then you want to put a block on that gap there, as so. So now you want to put blocks around this block here. I'm using glass so you guys can see what's happening, but you can use whatever block you like. So there's a gap there. Now I need to grab a sign, and with that sign, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to put it on this one here. And basically as I'm writing it, it's the water stopper. So that when I put the water in there here, it stops it here, so it can't flow out. This kind of minimalizes the space you use. Um, you could put a block there, but then you'd have to make it a lot bigger and it's just too much hassle. So now you need to place another block here so that when the water does flow down it doesn't flow out here. I've made that mistake a few times before. So yeah, now everything's set up and ready to go. I just need to put the lava inside here. So I throw something in and it triggers the water to flow forwards and the lava source block. No, I didn't do that side. <laughs> As I said, I've made that mistake many times. Um, <laughs> How did I miss that? Right, so yeah, as I was saying, it's really quick. Um, the water flows down there, the lava source block pops out and creates an obsidian block there. And they're trapped in an obsidian room. And oh, yeah, I uh, forgot to put the water inside here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the water in there so that when the player goes in, they drown as well. So let me just put another one in here to demonstrate it again. So I'll use myself this time. It's always good. And here we go. The obsidian blocks off so I can't go back up and I start to drown. Obviously I'm in creative mode at the moment so I can actually not die. Um, but yeah, that's everything there is to this tutorial. Um, yeah, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please leave a comment, like or subscribe. Um, I really appreciate it. And yeah, that's everything there is for today. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now. Just a quick... Um, Notice on the end of that video there, um, if you guys look at my furnace trap tutorial, the torture chamber one, you will notice that um, in the video I show you how to kind of fall into the trap, and it's exactly the same sort of principle for that one. Um, everything's exactly the same on the way you make the people enter your trap, because um, I didn't really mention how you can make people enter that one, but all you have to do is set it up like I do in the torture chamber video, so check that one out and it will really help you guys out on that. Yeah, sorry for missing that out on this uh, tutorial, but yeah, check it out. Um, goodbye, guys. See you guys later.